Well, hello and welcome to DJ Fossil. So I've been out fossil hunting again. Um, so we've got this lovely big one here. I'll show you a quick video, a couple of bits now. And then we'll have a look at the other bits that I've found. Find of the day though is this bad boy. And uh, look at that, it is humongous. Absolutely massive. Weighs an absolute ton, so it's gonna be fun trying to carry that back. It's nice, it's not bad condition, it's got a little bit of damage to it on this side here. So if we spin it over, you can see that there's a bit missing chunk off that side, but it doesn't matter really. It's a beautiful specimen. So. And just spotted this one as well. Another massive Nautilus, it's a chamber showing, absolutely gorgeous, and just for comparison there's my foot next to it, so trying not to get wet. Uh, so a few more fossils that we've got, uh, this one here, the outer edge here is broken unfortunately, but the uh, centre is quite okay. Uh, looks quite nice this side and it's got some nice colouring showing there so that should the centre piece should clean up quite nicely and it's still a decent size and this one we found in the sea it's one of the flat ones a bit like this one I've got two of those Another little flat one in here. You can see the edge of it there. Got some nice colouring on it, and you can see the the keel sticking out the side there. So that's complete. There's another flat one in there. The end's broken off, but it shows beautiful chambers. So it gets the sun. You can see all the chambers in there with the crystal which I quite like that <coughs> um, little shell there another little flat one but it's a really chunky one so it's a different type uh, I don't think I've even got one of these so that's going to be good for the collection just getting through there's another little chunky ammonite there little gastropod in there which looks quite nice it's got some lovely patterning on that so that's nice uh, a couple of nautiluses uh, this one was in the sea so it's a bit worn but it still looks okay so I'll be prepping these later uh, another one here lovely colors on it I'm going to be, like I said, prepping some Nautiluses today, so I've got a few to go through. Uh, another biggish flat one, that's all complete. A couple of little tiny chips there, but it's complete. You can see the mouthpiece there. So some nice little ridges along those edges there. If you can see that. So yeah, that's going to be nice, got some beautiful colours on it. Another little dinky ammonite in there. Another one in there. Now uh, this piece I really like. It's got a big shell there. Okay, it's broken off on this end. Another shell there. Got an ammonite there. So, sorry, ammonite there and there. And some other little bits and pieces, but it's got the edge of a nautilus as well, sat here by the looks of it. So that's going to make a really nice display piece. Uh, another ammonite there. I've uh, got this piece, which has got some weird thing in the middle, so we weren't sure what it was, so we got that to have a look at. Another ammonite there. 
tiny, tiny bit of damage on this top edge here. There was another one sat there by the looks of it as well, but that wasn't around. So someone else has had that. Uh, another ammonite there. Another biggish one there. Bit of damage on this edge. But that's the way it is sometimes. Uh, can't remember what was in this piece. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, got something there. That looks... Actually looks like the impre am ammonite impression. So it might be that the ammonite's gone. Um, there was something else in here though. That we... I know there was something. I can't remember for now, but oh, there's something there that was interesting. I know one of these pieces had, I um, can't remember which piece it was, had a nice little echinoid sea urchin sticking out the side somewhere. So I probably missed that. And a little bit of a sea worn one there. <coughs> but Jackie's going to use that for some fossil prep practice. Now this one, you can't really see it very well at the moment, but that's actually the, the, an ammonite in there. When it was wet, it looks really good. So when it's pol when it's um, got the varnish on, it will show up the colours. If you can see it there, you can probably just make it out. But when it's wet it really shows up nicely so we're just going to give that a little bit of a polish over and then varnish it just to bring that out so it's going to be quite a nice little one uh, another flatty one in there but again sea worn but with the crystals showing like that it looks quite nice it looks better when it's wet again Uh, another little sea worn one uh, just for Jackie to practice on. This one I do like, I think it looks absolutely stunning. It's very sea worn, but I love the way all the chambers are showing on there, and you've got some big bits of crystals and stuff, so that's nice. But this was absolutely. I'll just show you that one. So that's a flat one, but it's got some different lines on it. We haven't seen one like that before. So no, that's quite a nice one. The beautiful patterning on it. Unfortunately, it's not 100% complete. It's very nearly complete, but not 100%. Which is a shame. <coughs> now, this one was actually just sat in the water like that. And when I got it out, it's a perfect stand-up display piece. It's a shame it's sea-worn, but even so, it's a perfect display piece already set up. So I'm going to give it a clean-up and a polish and you know, try and make it look a little bit better, but see what we can do. So this big block here, though, that I did show you a minute ago, has got loads of stuff on the other side as well so we've got ammonites uh, could be an ammonite there uh, we've got giant bonite there all the way down with the little bit of a cone showing there as well which is quite nice another cone showing on that one the opposite way but that's a really nice piece this and a couple of shells as well yeah, I shall try when I do prep this. I'm going to try and somehow maybe make it as a display piece that's two sided or something. I don't know if I can do that. But we'll have a we'll have a look at it. I think maybe if I just trim this edge off to make it stand up, that would probably be the best option. But we also got this one, so I kept this piece because it's the blank. So, and look at that. 
absolutely gorgeous. But I kept it to protect it while we were bringing it. Uh, it's got some nice little bits of shells and stuff in the base. But that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. The sutures on it. Absolutely gorgeous. And the centre is not bad as well. Just need a little tiny bit to take out. But I'm going to, again, I'm going to cut this off flat. And that will stay as a display piece. That one's actually going to be kept as my collection piece. And the others of this type, I'm going to prep and sell on. So, sorry about the sun. But yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. So, if we look on the other side, tiny, tiny bit of damage there on that corner there. And a perfect centre. And again, more suture. So, absolutely gorgeous. Look at it. And still got the shell on that bit and this bit so I should probably keep trying to keep the shell on there and, and just varnish that up once it's uh, finished prepping so yeah I've just got I haven't got a lot to prep on this bit I'm literally gonna have to take I'm gonna have to take this piece off here and this bit off around the edge tidy that end up take a little piece off this corner like so and then take this little bit off here but yeah, that's going to be really nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, we're going off out t tomorrow. Fossil hunting at a new location. Also, another little echinoid there. Again, they don't seem to have the patterns on them when you find them down where I'm going. But you can tell it's an echinoid because it's got the big dip in the underside. But I'm going to try and give him a clean and see if it does have the patterning underneath or not. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to be going off out hopefully tomorrow on a fossil hunt or at a new location. So I'll be doing a full video on that. So that will be coming out very soon. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.